Oh my gosh. Hello guys. Hi. I'm gonna try to do this little story time before my phone battery runs out and the train's coming. <laughs> I'm outside and to be fair that wasn't the best idea. <clears throat> Okay, so this story time is going to be about how life has been for me after high school. So, I'm 23 now, which means I graduated high school right about five years ago. <laughs> so, it's been a long time. Um, and I'm going to lie, it's been pretty tough. I think uh, mentally, just growing up, if you've, if you've been through it, you know it's tough. Oh my gosh, so many cars don't pass by, but I guess when I film, they do. But yeah, um, life has been really tough, but this little man has really gotten me through a lot of it. So, I've always um, struggled. I think I'm a little, <clears throat> I don't like saying this, but like, honestly, I think that I'm a little weaker minded than a lot of people so life is really like when it hits me it hits me so um after i had never really been like popular in high school so um i i had never dated until after high school and once i started dating it all started like spiraling out of control because i just would choose the wrong men to date and that kind of ensued in me <clears throat> in me like spiraling out of control um i had had like eating disorders when i had like i had had an eating disorder when i was a kid so i was like 14 so this was like middle school when i started and a uh, one bad relationship it really um led me to develop another eating disorder which I know that was a bunch of, that was just like a truck it led me to develop another um eating disorder so uh that was from ages like 18 to 22 really that that eating disorder lasted and it was really really hard to overcome it and because it had been my coping mechanism for so many years so when I had to let go of it because of obviously my health it was it I started trying like weed and um, alcohol anything really to cope um, with the pain because I had such low self-esteem and I had such a low opinion of myself and I still kind of do struggle with like having low opinion of myself but I think that the older you get the more you realize that you don't really need those things because they're not gonna help you they're only temporary and that anything that you kind of use in in order to avoid dealing with your feelings are always gonna be kind of useless because it, eventually you're going to have to feel those feelings and feeling those feelings is going to suck but you have to feel them so that led to like intense anxiety for me because I just hadn't wanted to feel it in a long time so I had to resort to um <laughs> other methods i don't know why i paused it i'm so sorry my my phone hasn't died yet um so yeah that i needed to do some things so i took up youtube i i had done another channel before this one and um that was like an eating channel which obviously wasn't a good idea because that again triggered my eating disorder so i deleted that channel and then i started this one and it this has really helped me this and working has really helped me cope because i'm not really a a person who likes to go out because i just don't like being around people to be honest i'm very 
I'm a, I'm very much a homebody. I, I, I could stay home all my life if I could. And, um, but yeah, going into the workforce, uh, I started working at 19. I know a little late, but nonetheless, working and school, college has been, working has been easier than college, but college has been tough because I don't know what I want to do. I still at this age don't know what I want to do because I can't imagine myself doing something for like 40 years until I retire so if any of you have any ideas on what the heck to do as a career that is moderately enjoyable please let me know because I I can't think of anything that I want to do um Yeah, my self-esteem. Another problem that I don't really talk about is that I, I don't know if it's OAB or because of my anxiety, I use, I go to the restroom, like I pee every 20 minutes an hour, and I know it, it to you guys, it really sounds like a bigger issue, trust me, I thought it was. I have gone to get blood drawn two different times and nothing comes up, I'm healthy. Which is good, which is a good thing, but um, it really means that my anxiety is kind of like more rooted. It's deeper than I thought it was. So like, I'm anxious like 24-7. Like even if I don't think I'm anxious, I am. Which sucks because like even with medication, I take so much like anxiety medication to kind of try to suppress my emotions but sometimes they get above the surface a little too much which is why I kind of have a lot of ramblings because I'm always kind of trying to deal with it so that has not been easy um but kind of just going on walks and clearing my head really helps me get or just like I always like to take a really hot shower just to like reset my mind and I really (laughs) need one right now. Um, My neighbor is probably watching me so I think that's that's life after high school. Like my life hasn't been anything like I haven't been moderately successful like at all. I still work a part-time job but I'm alive. And I have kept going, which I'm really proud of myself for doing, and super proud of a lot of people because it's so hard. And a lot of times I feel behind, but it's like, you know, as long as I'm I'm getting up and keeping going, it's uh, it's an accomplishment in and of itself. But yeah, that's life after high school, nothing special for me, pretty just navigating adulthood thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed my little story time uh um end it now because i have like a creepy neighbor who stares and yeah and actually i don't know let me keep going (laughs) sorry also, my car broke down, so I'm using my brother's, which is a nicer car, and I wish I could have it, but I don't want to work more hours because I hate my coworkers. I hate my coworkers, a lot, some of them, but I like the job, like it's chill. And I have my dog, and I have my family, and I'm grateful. I have not been in any type of relationship since I was 19 because I kind of just. I'm kind of tired, I'm kind of over it, of uh, getting hurt and just putting myself out there and I'm just tired of feeling sometimes. So I've kind of just given up on that front, at least for a while. And yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Just taking life day by day, trying to navigate my emotions and trying to just Yeah, just take it by day by day. 
but thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry if I didn't look at you guys enough, like, and I was just wandering around. I have a problem, like, I can't really maintain eye contact, or I just, like, get distracted by everything. And right now there's a bee, but thank you guys. Bye.